up guys welcome to a new series of portal or just me playing games um this is basically going to be just um basically an afternoon with me just playing one game and if you guys really do like this leave a like or a comment down below and if you guys really want me to play something else leave a comment down below of what you should suggest that I should play and before we start this video I do want to say that I'm making a live stream channel and I'll just in case like some of you guys miss my live streams because I know that a lot of you guys want to see my live streams and everything but I don't go live that often and then when I do go live everybody's at work so it doesn't really help the economy that much when I'm going online and everybody's at work so if you guys wanna check that out the link will be in the description when I first make the channel or I'll have it in the next video or even make a video to talk about this if you guys don't see this video so forget that this ever happened and let's just start playing okay so we're gonna start a new game um, I've never played Portal before. I played Portal 2, the first half of it, so I kind of know the gist of this game, but I don't really know the first part of it. So, I, I guess we could just start it right here. Hello, and, again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all Enrichment Center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety, and the safety of others, please refrain from... Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. Okay, so here's me, I guess. Michelle. She looks different from before. She's not wearing her tank top and everything. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Probably gonna play a few levels. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Okay guys. I'm liking it so far. I think it's a pretty good game guys. Pretty good. You're doing. Very well. 
Please be advised that a dose of all taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the aperture science material emancipation grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These introductional have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you... Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. Well done. Remember, the aperture science bring your daughter to work day is the perfect time to have her tested. to test chamber 4. You're doing quite well. Once again, excellent work. As part of a required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. Safety is one of many enrichment center goals. The Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Unbelievable. You, subject name here, must be deprived of subject phone call here. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate a high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Good. Now use the aperture science on stationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock.
like a this video. Please so, note that we have added a consequence like for failure. Also, Any like contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. Consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. The Enrichment Center apologizes for this clearly broken test chamber. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Momentum, a function of mass and velocity, is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Or something, you get hurt, you probably do.
portals at once. As part of an optional test protocol, we are pleased to present an amusing fact. The device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in. Subject phone call, here.